Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today I think I have a little bit of an unexpected video. Unless you are on my Instagram, then you probably already know about this, but I today received my Tati Beauty palette in the mail, and I am really excited to do a look with it today. So even the outer like sleeve is like very soft touch matte. Um, now I just want to say this is going to be a very unbiased review. I am not at the moment subscribed to Tati on YouTube, so um, I did not buy the palette because, you know, I'm a super fan or anything like that. Um, I want to wish her congratulations, not that I think she'll ever see this, but congratulations, and I think it's amazing. I think she did, from what I've seen so far, a phenomenal job with it. Um, I definitely think it screams Tati. And the outer packaging has this part is gold instead of just kind of like black. Um, and it's very heavy. It has like a very nice like weight to it. Um, it does have a big mirror. It does, the mirror does not stand up, but it does take up like all the space of the packaging. And then it has my favorite. And it has, so there are four different kinds of formulas. There are mattes, which is this row. There are sequin, which is a matte with a little bit of shimmer or glitter in it. And then there is a shimmer and then there is a glitter formula. And these are all cosmetic grade glitter, so you can put them on your eyes. Um, and I'm just really excited to use this palette. Uh, I chose this uh, shade of shirt as I just got some glitter on my shirt but because I think I really want to use some of these colors but I want to use some of the other ones as well I'm actually really excited about this and when I saw it I just knew that I wanted it and I've never really wanted a neutral palette in my life so um, well other than the Nubian 3 coral palette from Juvia's Place so I'm really excited and let's do a look okay so I'm gonna use my Anastasia eyeshadow primer and we are gonna go in. If you want to see swatches, I will link. Um, I think the per the only person I've seen do swatches personally was Manny MUA. So I will try to link his. Remember to link his video up here if you want to see swatches. He did um, each row like the different formulas in order. So that's a good video to watch. Or you can, yeah. So and he did like a pretty neutral look with. The palette in the video too but he did very extensive swatches so I don't normally do swatches just because I feel like um, you know a, a color can swatch beautifully on the arm and then look like crap on the eyes and vice versa so I just don't normally do that I have no idea what I want to do but it, it's gonna be a neutral one <laughs> it's not gonna be a rainbow look I know that so I just think it's funny that I bought this palette, but I'm really excited. So I'm going to start with the Aura Row. Oh, okay. So they're all named. So there's one called Memory, Ritual, Story, Soothe, Aura, and Poet. Those are the names of the rows. But each individual shade does not have a name. So I'm going to start in the Aura Row, and I'm going to go in with this one. And I'm just going to go in with a really fluffy brush, and I'm going to... Um, kind of set my brow bone just because I want to and this brush is stained so this is the matte shade in this row and so far it's a good cream eyeshadow okay I really I don't even know what I want to do I think I'm gonna go in with the shade story with the same brush it is a orange shade. Maybe I should have gone in with a little bit of a... No, this brush is okay. 
so far. It's very pigmented. There's a little bit of kick up in the palette, but it's not bad. And it's not any worse than any other eyeshadow that I've used. So this palette was $48. I paid for expedited shipping. Um, I ordered it the day and the minute that it launched. If you want the palette now, it's out of stock, but you can pre-order it and it will ship uh, December 15th. And her website does take after pay if that's something that you're interested in. I blended pretty, pretty easily. Um, huh. All right, Tati. And this is also volume one, so that tells you that there's probably going to be a volume two and possibly three or four or five. Let's hope they don't all come out at once, like with Anastasia, but okay. So <clears throat> I think I want to go into the shade Poet next, which is the matte burgundy shade. That really blended very easily. I think this will be a palette that a lot of people would use on their wedding day. I mean, you can definitely get some glam looks with this. I wouldn't say it's the most neutral palette that I've ever owned, but it is definitely the first neutral palette that I've really gravitated towards. And I just kept looking at it and it kept getting closer and closer to the launch day. And I was like, I have to get it. I have to get it. I have to get it. So I did. So if there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows, four shades in each row. So 24 shades. I feel like my eyeshadow is almost doing itself. I'm literally just patting it on and it already looks blended. So that is amazing. Okay. I am loving this, you guys. Let me know down below if you got it. <clears throat> my voice just went wonky there. Um, let me know if you got it. And I'm planning on getting the Jeffree Star um, Shane Dawson collection as well, which comes out day after tomorrow, I think, when I'm filming this. Okay, so now I want to use the sequin shade. But the sequin shade is a matte with a, with, it, it looks like it has a lot of glitter in it. So I am going to stick a little bit of glitter glue down just because I feel like I want the glitter to show up. If you don't want the glitter to show up, I've, from what I've seen, I think it'll pretty much just whoosh away when you put, put on the eyeshadow. But I would like it to stay as much as possible. And I also want the shimmers to be Oh, I should have deepened it up with a black because I wanted to try that black eyeshadow. Okay, we're going to quickly, while that kind of gets a little bit tacky, we're just going to put a little bit of black eyeshadow. That is so pigmented. Wow. That worked so well. I'm telling you guys, this eyeshadow palette blends itself. It is insane. Like literally all I've done with pretty much each color is just kind of tap it into place and it just looks blended. It's weird. It's awesome, but it's weird. That's crazy. Okay. Now we're going to go into the sequin formula. So let's see if I can swatch it. So I don't know if you, yeah, you can definitely see it. So it's like a burgundy, but it has like a bluish purple pink reflect glitter. So I want that to show. And that's why I decided to put the, um, 
it has a weird texture. It's kind of chalky feeling, but okay. I don't know if the glitter glue is gonna help with the glitter sticking. Oh, I can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, but I can kind of see it. Hmm. I wonder if it's one of those things where they put it in there to make it blend easier or if they wanted it to actually show up because it's not, it's not showing up and, oh wait, no, okay, I can see it now a little bit. Okay. So now I just want to, I feel like I covered a little bit of that black and I don't want to do that. Okay. And then I'm going to take for the shimmer, the shimmer shimmer, I want to take the orange, the one in the row story. And that is very... Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that is so smooth. That went on like butter. Okay, all right. I mean, it definitely has some kick up in the pan, but I'm kind of just picking it back up. But literally, again, I'm just packing it on and it's just done easiest eyeshadow palette I've ever worked with. Okay. And I will be doing a three looks, I three looks or five looks, one palette. I haven't decided yet, but I'm impressed. Okay. So <clears throat> for glitter, oh, all these glitters are so incredibly gorgeous. Um, I'll show you the just minimal kick up. Um, but I kind of really want to try the one in the aura row. Okay. I just literally went one, two. That's the glitter. But I don't know if I want to put it on my lid or if I want to put it on. All right. We're just going to do the thing. Okay. Oh my goodness. It has like green reflect in it. That's really pretty. I do feel like there's still some sticking to my finger. Where did I just put that brush? Let's see if we can use this press glitter with a brush. Probably not. Or maybe we can. Yes, we can. That is crazy. I have never been able to pick up a pressed glitter properly on a flat shader brush. That is insanely beautiful. It has like pink, copper, and green glitters in it. And it is gorgeous. Wow. And I didn't even wet the brush or anything. Like I just went in, grabbed some of the glitter and started packing it on. That is insane. Okay. All right. And let's see if there's, no, there's like hardly any kick up from the glitter. All right. So let me do my base off camera. I'll be right back and then we'll do the rest of our eyes. Okay, so we're back. So I have my foundation on. I pulled out my Patrick Star powder and some other products and um, just in my face. And I don't even know what to say. Like so far, I am loving this eye look. Um, I don't even know. So the day that uh, this will go up, uh, you, this will probably be the second video you're seeing of that day. Um, and I'm using Plumeria from Makeup Geek and, uh, I did another video today. I'm guessing this is going to go up on Halloween, but 
it's a video that I did with my friend Heather from Heart of Heather. So I'm going to link that up here. So definitely please go also check that out because um, I love Heather and we had so much fun doing a Halloween collab together. So I'm going to go into the shade Poet, which is that burgundy shade. And I'm just going to put that on the lower lash line. This mirror really needs to be cleaned. I got setting spray on it and it's like, I can only see half of myself. <laughs> um, I still have powder under my eyes so that in case there's some fallout from this, it won't affect that. But this eyeshadow palette, I am so impressed with it. Heather also got this palette and uh, I linked the makeup group that we're in on Facebook in my last video i'll link them again in this one but if you guys want to join she did a live stream uh today with this palette and you can see it in the live stream i mean you can see the live stream in the facebook group if you join I'm trying to think if i want any put a little tiny bit of black on the outer I honestly, <laughs> I honestly thought, am I really going to get some use out of this palette when I bought it? But I definitely will. Now I'm going back into the Aura line, uh, row and I'm going to use the shimmer formula for my inner corner highlight. That's beautiful. I am really impressed, like really impressed with this palette. I think she did a really good job. And I definitely think it screams Tati. Okay, now I can wipe away the powder. Kinda. I always use this to just blend everything together. I just realized just now I didn't do my brows. I swear, I feel like I forget, I almost forget to do my brows so often, it's crazy. I'll just pop them on real quick. But yeah, let me know if you guys picked it up. Um, I picked it up just because I really wanted to review it. Um, like I said, I thought it would be fun because I'm the least likely person to have picked it up. And... I've really been into more neutral looks lately, like neutral glam looks, and this palette is perfect for that. Oh, I do not like the color of this brow pencil. This is my e.l.f. one, and I got deep brown instead of medium, and especially against these warm colors, it looks really like cool toned and weird to me, but that's all right. That's all right. And I always get powder and foundation, you guys know, in my hairline. You're like, Anya, we know, we've heard it a million times. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on some mascara and then lips and we're done. And this pressed glitter, this pressed glitter I would put on the same level as the Alien Cosmetics pressed glitters, which is the best pressed glitter that I have tried to date. Um, and I would say it is on the same level, but it's also not as thick, if that makes sense. It's like it is a glitter, but it's almost like it's a really shimmery, or really, like, what am I trying to say? I feel like it's almost like a shim, no. <laughs> I feel like what I'm trying to say is, it's like a very glittery shimmer eyeshadow. So... It's very smooth. It's like butter. It, oh no. It will apply with a brush. And to me, that's a little bit like a step above a regular pressed glitter. So I feel like it's, I don't know. It almost just goes on like a shimmery eyeshadow, but with more glitter in it. I just got some mascara. So 
I really like it a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, come off. Hopefully that worked. Nope. There's like a line. It's like once you get mascara underneath your lash line, you're just done. Okay. I am going to go in with my Spice Lip Liner from MAC. And... my Hank and Henry Rich Lux liquid lipstick in I Love You So Much. Alright. Um, or I could use this. Why don't we use this? Because then I'll actually have something to put into my little thing. Oh, that's going to be too cool toned for this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, um, okay, no. I'll stick with my original plan. So this is the Hank and Henry I Love You So Much Rich Lux collaboration. I'm just putting a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Too Faced Gloss in the shade Eggnog. All right. So a very nude lip. And even though this is technically a very neutral palette, I think I still got a very glam like a neutral glam look from it. So I really love this look. I love this palette already. Like from just my first impression, I, you know, I don't know how any of the rest of the colors will do, but I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven today. So, um, and this is what my palette now looks like. So Pretty much the same, a little bit of kick up, like I said, but my first impression is this palette is very well curated. I love all of the different layers of colors, like I love the mattes. The, the sequin, I don't really necessarily see a point in so far because I feel like once I did the rest of my eyeshadow, I felt like the little glitter particles that were in the sequin, you couldn't really see them, but um, the color was still beautiful and yeah I so far I love this palette I think I'll get a lot of use out of it especially in the fall and I can't wait to do more looks with it so let me know down below if you want to see three more looks with it or five more looks with it and whichever one wins I will do so I love you guys so so much thank you for, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys